hearty welcome to the fairy tech channel today we are about to write or to discuss how to write a research paper in a step by step procedure now let us see the outline of the research paper here we are going to show you what are the salient points we have to remember while writing a research paper first of all we have to prepare an outline the outline consists of title an abstract introduction body and conclusion and let us move one by one by discussing the each of the headers here very first the title while choosing a title we have to take care of the objective of the research work that is what is the purpose of our research work that has been carried to be put it in the article next we have to go through with the scope and subject here scope means the extent of the area of our field and subject means the theme of our work next we have to be ready with the methods or technologies that are being used in our work to frame the title of our work and i prefer to frame the title after the completion of the paper similarly next header goes with the abstract once again here i recommend to write the abstract of your work after finishing the entire paper but let us see what are the points we have to see here after completing the paper first we have to go with while starting out the abstract the context of the entire work that is the background of the work has to be clearly specified in the abstract in two or three lines further we have to brief out the methods that is technologies or techniques algorithms that have been used in your work next we have to brief out the experimental outcomes or its findings if someone are using some softwares or tools with respect to that also we can brief out our experimental outcomes are also in terms of any parametrical figures after this concept let us move to the very first concept of our research paper that is introduction in introduction first of all we should have a background the first few lines of introduction must contain the background of the work like writing what has been happened in the history regarding this work and what are the advancements that have been happened what is the importance what is the need of the work these concepts have to be mentioned in background next problem statement we have to involve what is the problem that are we going to find the solution for we have to make at least one para clearly speaking out our solutions and in the introduction we should mention the purpose of the research means what are the findings we are going to do like that we have to frame a few lines regarding the purpose of our research work afterwards the main thing comes into the entire paper is the body now in this in this video i am focusing on it as a section wise very first we can go with literature review as the first one in the body here the literature review can be carried out in two aspects very first a background means we can go through with different articles different papers 
different journals, magazines, conference proceedings that have been published based upon our specific topic or related topics and make them in one place. After that, we have to go through that all the articles or magazines, what are the advantages given there? Afterwards, advantages, what are their limitations? What the authors have suggested as, what are their recommendations? We have to make them in a chronological order of the findings or of the recommendations. Next step in body is methodology, means what type of the methods that have been used to, to solve the problem in our research work. These methods can be very fast. It might be existing method or it might be it, uh, here, uh, existing method means what are the previous methods that have been used to solve the same problem, but while showing the existing methods, we should keep in mind that what are the limitations that have been arrived at in the existing procedures. Then as an advantage, we have to mention our proposed method is going to give the better results in the problem solving. At the same time, we should be ready with a proper block diagram, a proper algorithm, as well as a proper flow chart, how our proposed method works in solving the problem. And if possible, if possible, please try to involve some mathematical equations, if possible. Mathematical equations are mathematical models that establishes that our methodology is a better one. Next one is the results and analysis. Some people can write it as findings. Someone can write it as experimental investigations. Someone can write it as simulation results. And most probably this part of the body is an optional one because in most of the papers, sometimes they prefer to write the different sets of papers depending upon their subjects and specific topics. If you are willing to write this section of results and analysis, try to write in two ways. One is subjective, means in a narrative way, how your method has yielded the results and what are your perceptions, what are your points, observations you have to mention clearly in this particular part of results analysis that is subjective. When it comes to objective, we should, this entire objective concept of result analysis is based upon the number games, that is numbers, that is valuable parameters or statistical values, and also how the statistical values statistical values have been represented in graphical representations to make it clear and loud to the upcoming researchers in your work and also make a good appeal to the reviewers who are reviewing your research paper. After having this body, the last section is conclusion. While we are writing the conclusion, we should know that as abstract is the opening bracket of a work, conclusion can be called as the closing bracket of the work. In conclusion, we should first of all write about the summary. Means summarize whatever we have gone through in introduction and the entire body with respect to the problem and how we have solved it through methods in a very summarized way. Next, we should have the observations. Means what is our perception after finding out or after going throughout the work of different papers and our papers, what are our observations that has to be 
mentioned here. After that, if any future scope that our work can be extended for further enhancement of the specific topic, if it is there, we have to mention this future scope. Somebody will call it as future scope, somebody will call it as further scope or further work. It depends upon the person and the specific topic or specific application. This entire video has been prepared by keeping in mind the beginners who feel a problem in writing the research papers and research articles in a better way. Uh, and I request the uh, members to kindly share our videos, subscribe and like our videos and most, prob most importantly, kindly provide your valuable suggestions such that we can improve our video contents and promote our channel in a good way and a good cause. I thank you all of you for listening to our video.